Hello there guys, this is Chris from Blast Process with part 2 of my uh, Mark 3 shuttle design building tutorial video. Um, so in the last part I showed you how to build the orbiter and I tested it. It, um, it flies, or it glides I should say, uh, so we don't need those anymore. What I've done is I've transferred it to the vehicle assembly building and I've tilted it up onto its back. So for one thing, let's uh, we don't need the gear out, we need the gear in now. So now, we're also going to need, yeah, let's fill them back up with fuel. And what I'm going to do, just to show you it's possible, we are, we're not going to launch anything, I, I suppose we could actually. Um, let's build a little space station. So we'll just dump that off for now. So what this space station is going to consist of is a docking port. I'm building it up there just to make things easier for myself. One of those. And we're going to launch a science lab. Um, spin it that way. Onto the science lab we're going to attach a pair of them. And then Oh, no, I don't, want, don't like that. And then what, the same again on the other side. So let's grab that. Well, we've got to try and jam it in there. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to strut it in. You, uh, you never know. And uh, we put that back on. So this is now going to provide us with a dummy weight. Okay, so the first thing we're going to get is going to grab this and we're going to throw it up there. Now fuel. Unlike my last one, there is no one single fuel tank which is going to do here. We're going to need two fuel tanks. And we're going to go for the biggest possible fuel tank that is available, which is that one. And we're going to have two of them. Uh, let's just aerodynamic it up a bit with a nose cone and uh, that's looking pretty sweet and then we're gonna just aid us, no nope, that's the wrong one gonna strap a couple of these things to the bottom uh, and that might be too high up so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab it gonna bring it down a bit that's nice okay so the first thing we're gonna do now when you build as you probably know in Kerbal Space Program you always build your ships in reverse you always build the stage that comes in last first and we've already done that we built the orbiter now the next stage so we know this the orbiter is gonna fly in space which reminds me we're gonna need orbital maneuvering system uh, so we're going to have a pair of them and one of them and then we're going to have the same again back there we're also going to need a system that will allow us to fly in space so we're going to go engines now we're going to use these little monopropellant engines we're going to go with six of these things and they're all going to be staged in last. In fact, they will stage in at the same time that does. Okay. So now, so we, we have the, the, the landing is done, the re-entry is done, the orbital maneuvering is done. Uh, now it's takeoff, or rather, it's the final part, so it's the orbital burn. So the orbital burn, this is what the shuttle's going to look like during the orbital burn. It's not quite going to look like this, it's actually going to look like this. We're going to use about half a fuel tank. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring up the centre of mass and the centre of thrust. So as you can see, they're not lined up. We need to make this line up with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this rotation tool. We're going to grab that. And we're going to tilt it back. We're going to do the same with that one. Tilt it back. Now, if you're not very good at eyeballing this, what I'm going to do is now you're going to be able to see me doing this. 
I've got a piece of paper or a ruler. You put it on the screen, and I can see that, that is almost perfectly lined up. Not quite, almost perfectly. So I'm going to hold shift now to, for fine tuning. And we're going to go one back. Again, the bit of paper, that is spot on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test what happens now as we get further into space. So the rest of that fuel is going to run out. Oops. And this fuel is going to run out, so put them down to half. And, okay, so we're actually losing, losing it there. So let's try it the other way. So we'll fill that back up. Sorry, we'll empty that one and fill this one. So we need to figure out, no, that's even worse. Okay, so we're gonna drain it from the bottom first. That's the way to go. So we need to move our engines so they tilt up ever so slightly. Now the other way of doing this is you can take off angle snap. This actually allows you to rotate it very, very finely. That is looking pretty good. Now these engines have a one degree gimbal and I've got five of these things on. So it is going to provide me with some, oh damn it, it's going to provide me with some stability. Oh, I keep, I keep pressing the wrong button. So let's, uh, let's go back up. So we just need to keep checking. So we're never gonna, you're never gonna get it perfect, but uh, you can get it as close as possible. So we're gonna, we're gonna have a go. We're gonna see how this goes. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna offset it, pull them a little bit that way. Yeah. Okay. So now we need the boosters. Now, unfortunately, uh, Kerbal Space Program does not have very, very big solid rocket boosters. The biggest ones it has is this one, and these are not powerful enough. Um, so unfortunately, we're never gonna get it to look. There's two ways we can fix that. You can either do it this way, putting another one on. Let's get it centered at least. So we're gonna double up on the boosters. The other way of doing it is by using a liquid fuel engine. Um, I'm going to go with this way for now, but honestly, you do it however you want, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strut these on. Okay, we did not like that. Let's do it that way instead. Nope. Why won't it let me... Why is it not doing... Why is it not... Don't know why it's not doing that. Okay, I might have to just uh, strut them on individually then. There we go. So they're fixed on. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is now we've got the sensor of thrust. So now at launch, this is full. And the boosters and the full engine are almost, not quite, but almost. But what you can do here is we're going to offset the boosters. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and move them in. Does that help? That, you can't see what I'm doing there. I've actually got a ruler on the screen <laughs> to try and get this working. Okay, so that's that's never gonna work, unfortunately. Am I only? It is only. Yeah, oh no, he's moving them both. It's mm, it's close, but it's not perfect. Um, right now, let's just drain some of this tank and see. Does it get better? Okay, it actually gets better as right. So at very early launch, we may not have that much control, which could be a bit of an issue. So one thing we do need to test though, is we're gonna need a couple of these things. Cause we need to boost these engines away. Um, so what we're gonna do. 
is yeah gonna go one two these they need to move out and away from the shuttle so let us oh dear look at all this it's all over the place so they're the main engines they're the solid boosters Okay. So we want all the main... Right, okay, staging is done. So the first stage is all the main engines firing. Second stage is these disconnecting and all them firing. And the third stage is the main fuel tank disconnecting and these activating. So we're going to save that. Um, and we have... Did we strut that on? No, we did not. Yeah, these are not, it's not liking this. I don't know why. Okay, never mind, we'll just uh, strut them on individually. Something to do with the symmetry mode messing up. Uh, we are gonna need, though, a fuel. Now, I want it to drain from the bottom up, which means I need to connect it to the top. So we're going to run it a fuel line like so. And now, finally, we will need something to hold the thing in. And two on there. And we're going to save it and we're going to launch. So let's have a look what happens here. So I can't remember. It's going to tilt. I think, I believe it's going to tilt forward at launch. Ah. Uh, two things are never connected up. Okay. Oh dear. What did I just do then? No, I just moved the wrong one. That's all. Okay. Right. So we're going to turn autopilot on. Engines up to full. And just in case, we're going to hold back. We're going to hold S. Launch. And it is. Mm, okay. So, that is unfortunately not going to work, so let's boost them. Okay, so we know that works. Fire them. Okay, so, not everything was working then, and there we go. Don't know where my boosters went. I think they just carried on going off into space. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, oh, they never survived. Okay. So as we get near 7,000 meters, we're actually going to start to tilt even more. Oh, no. Oh, no. We lost everything. Never mind. I'm going to fire the solid boosters off. They made it off that time nicely. Okay, so we're gonna start. Oh, okay. So this is getting quite difficult. It's not. It's not liking this. It's yeah. I'm not. I don't have as much control as I did before. In fact, it just wants to nose forwards. Now sometimes. No, that's gonna make it worse. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to keep trying this, and then I'll come back once I know I've got it right. And here we go. This is my final shuttle design. Um, I haven't actually got this one into space. Well, I have, but in doing so, my booster separation actually blew the wingtips off. Um, so it was never really going to come back down again. But I have altered the booster designs. I've changed the separatron position, so hopefully this one will work. So, power up to full. We're going to hold S, the back key, and push. immediately tilt back, and that is good. So we want to try and get our prograde to be pointing directly upwards, which it is there. So as you can see, our 
angle of attack and our probe ride are actually about five degrees off from each other. Which is to be expected. So we're actually very balanced right now. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start to lose the boosters now. And... Yes, perfect. Didn't lose any parts. So we're going to start to roll backwards. Okay, so now the boosters are gone. The craft is heavily unbalanced. But the design should actually cause it to become more balanced now as time goes on. So we're just going to keep trying to force ourselves over. We're trying to get our nose onto that uh, 45 degree mark there. Which we are getting close to. There we go. Okay, so here we are. So what you're going to do now is you're going to keep an eye on this what we need to do now is to control our pitch, we need to start transferring fuel. So if we move fuel backwards, no. Yes, yeah, so if we move fuel backwards, you'll see the ship's becoming more stable. I'm going to stop. So now it's st stable in the wrong direction now, but what's going to happen is as the fuel drains, it's going to start to come down again. So now we're going to just use this moment to recenter ourselves on the line. pretty good how are we doing that's not bad so as you can see we're losing balance again so we're gonna transfer a bit more fuel what we want is we want the fuel unfortunately you can't do it but we want the fuel to be draining at exactly the same pace from both tanks have a look again oh, here we go right another way of making it so that you can become more stable is you can actually just power down the engines but right now as long as we're still we're fairly stable so we're keeping the engines running at full power for as long as we can all right okay we'll increase it now so i'm gonna i'm gonna power down now half power i'm gonna try and roll us over all the way now very similar to a regular rocket launch this if you uh, are familiar with that type of thing the only difference is there's a lot more control input and you have to constantly be controlling your fuel so we're still really balanced we're increasing we're gonna put it into an orbit of 150 so while we're balanced and fairly stable. I'm going to try and roll us over. I'm going to actually enable RCS for this because it's just going to give me just that little bit oh god, of extra control. And we are in. So I'm going to disable RCS again. Oh, it's okay. That's perfect. We are increasing. Let's get right down onto the uh, horizon now. Oh, here we go. Right, so we're actually losing shots. We're going to go power right down now. We're at 104. So let's have a look how the fuel is. So if we transfer it back, is that going to help? That will help. Right, so all the fuel is now in the back tank now. And we are still going. Everything is still under control. 107. I think we'll have more than enough fuel left to make this. Let's turn it up a little bit. There we go. Uh, so as I said, I'm going to get 150 is my target. And close, 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 close. 150, more or less. So, we're actually in space happily there. So we've got a little bit of fuel left, but fortunately we're not going to do anything with that. So we're going to eject us in the fuel tank. So let's have a look how we're doing. Perfect. Right. So now in order to... We're going to put a maneuver node. Right. 
Um, yeah, that's 153 by 152. That's uh, pretty good. So that is, oh, it says it's a four second burn, but that is wrong. Because we're actually, because it thinks we've got these engines active, but we actually don't because there's no fuel in them anymore. So what I'm going to do is, right, so the actual burn is going to be one minute. Because we only have these small engines now. So it's a one minute burn and I need to perform it in five minutes. So let's uh, speed up time. Four, three, two, one. So I'm going to begin the burn at 30 seconds. So there goes. So my fuel tank is going to continue on this trajectory and it's going to re-enter the atmosphere there. Uh, okay, 30 seconds. Power up. So these engines are now firing along the center line of the craft, which means I'm now actually using the nose. There we go. So we are now in orbit. It's just a matter now of keeping it steady. As you can see, they use very little fuel, and we do have two giant fuel tanks to power these. If you feel you need a little bit of extra fuel, um, feel free to fit some of the external ones, but if you fit them on the center of mass, so the external ones, if you fit them on the outside there, it will keep the ship exactly balanced as it is now. Uh, we are in orbit, 155 by 151. That's how you get a shuttle into orbit. So, let us decouple that, and I'm going to activate docking mode, RCS on, and we're going to go down. And that is perfect. So, get us... We're going to dock on there. So while that's going like that, going to get these panels out. Uh, in order to switch between ships when you're close, it is the square bracket key on your keyboard. Ooh, wrong way. Someone asked about that in the last episode. Ooh, wrong button. Right, how centered are we? Oh, we were. Yeah. There we go, the big magnets grabbed us, there we are. There we go, we are launched the space station and docked with it. And that, my friends, is how you put a shuttle in space. Now, I showed you how to land it last episode. I will show you again here though. But for now, where's that space? Space sensor is there, so it is in the light. So I will set that up and I will come back when it's ready to land. Okay, so we are We've left the space station behind, there it is, it's five kilometers away. We are currently deorbiting. Uh, we're coming in, we are just over this cove where the desert is, and we are bringing our orbit down. We're gonna place it about there in the ocean. As you can see, we've still got just slightly less than half a tank. Um, it's always better to overshoot because you can turn around and come back in. If you undershoot, you will have to try and land on this mountain somewhere and that is going to be basically impossible. If you have to, try and land for this spot because this is mostly flat. Okay, so we're going to leave it in that. I think that's about right. So we're going to just speed up time. So the space station's gone off. And there's my shuttle. So we have hit the atmosphere now. So we're going to close up. And uh, so let's disable docking mode. Let's spin ourselves around. So I think that's the space center. I think it's actually kind of. Yeah. It's messed up the ground a bit. I don't know why that is. So we're going to nose in. 
We do actually have a little bit of fuel for these engines if we have to. There we go, it's loaded up the land now. But I don't think we're going to need it. Speed up time. There we go. Obviously I should be coming in flat. I think this is looking pretty good, I have to say. So our speed is dropping majorly fast. Ten kilometers nearly. Here we go. So we're going way too fast still and we're still too high to really have any control over this. I'm gonna nose down. I'm gonna just try and dump some speed. Now I've got probably a bit more fuel than I had when I tested the landing last time. Not much more. So, we're, so yeah, we've come in short, but we're over it, which is good. So I'm going to do a, a small circle. This is going to get rid of some speed, as well as helping me line up. We actually have our... We don't need the RCS on for this. How are we doing? We're looking good. You want to keep an eye on your um, prograde. You don't want your nose to get too far away, otherwise you'll lose control. Here we go. Oh, I might, I might not have enough uh, speed here. Here we go. Right. I don't know if I'm going to make this. I might be too far away, but I can try. So you need to now balance um, height with speed when coming in now. You can nose down, you'll pick up speed, but you'll lose altitude very quickly. So, speed up time. You kind of learn, I mean I know for a fact that this will 100 is a good speed, but 60 is is like the minimum, really. Okay, so I think I've got this. Okay, slow down time again. Here we go. Gear out. Oh, gear out. Wasn't coming out. And down, brakes on, and that is a Mark III Space Shuttle completed. So I will add the ship's craft file, um, I'll upload it so you can download it yourself. Um, and it's completely up to you how you do this. If you put something, I mean the station I put in weighed it wasn't that heavy to be honest if you filled this with fuel tanks it would massively change the the balance um i wouldn't recommend that the shuttle wasn't designed for lifting super heavy cargo it and it wasn't designed for going up much further than into orbit but it is i mean you know play with it yourself edit it change it slightly if you want to suit yourself uh try replacing these engines with the Super high, um, what are these? Do they like the new killer ones with loads of um, fuel efficiency? You're probably not going to get into space with them, but you know, if you change the design slightly, you might be able to send this shuttle to places. So, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you all in my next video.